Okay. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to another episode of Fanny's Dog House. <laughs> um, <laughs> so today on Fanny's Dog House, uh, we'll be hearing from Jamie. For some reason. For some reason. I was not able to watch the game last night and I had technical difficulties with my TV. So I could not watch the game that we taped. Anyway, Jamie, what do you think about last night's game? So, last night's game, all I have to say is... I don't even know, man. Nobody showed up. What the hell? Um, they were just scrambling around on D. The offense was, like, non-existent. Even if they did get some shots off, it was like... Everything was pushed out to the outside. The Anaheim D was just, they were doing a really good job at keeping all the shots outside. There was like a few shots in the slot and stuff, but it wasn't, you know, they didn't really test Taylor that much, so. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so, yeah, they're down 3-1 to one now, and, uh. Sorry, must, must, must win. Yeah, it, I really didn't see that, that much good in the game last night. Really? Mike Greer had some good blocks on the penalty kill and uh, Torrey Mitchell had a couple steals and you know I think Gotch played you know not too bad but Marlowe I mean he wasn't around <laughs> Martin wasn't around you know that's like uh, two thirds or what is it two thirds of the four yeah and Navi's goals you know they were stoppable I think but he didn't really have much help either so Chichu like he totally overcommitted on Ryan's second goal and Ryan just had like a free shot and he scored and that guy is awesome um, don't talk about him oh yeah okay sorry uh, well from listening to like the last 10 minutes of the game, um, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't watch because all I heard was that the Ducks beat the Sharks to the puck to, you know, wave off icing or the Ducks won the battle to get the puck in the corner or... They did. They were just, they were tracking the puck down, they were hunting it down, and they were, they were always for the first ones there. It, it like. totally just sounded like the Ducks just outplayed the Sharks and totally. the Sharks just, you know lied down and gave up. Yeah, I think that sounds about right. That just sucks. And you know, like, um, like I told you earlier, when I was listening to the Sharks extra stuff on the radio, the only good thing that they could replay was when Scott Niedermeyer almost scored an own goal. Now that's pathetic. Yeah, and Joe Thornton's best pass was the one he made out of the corner to uh, Brian Getzlaff in the slot. And then Getzlaff got the shot off and Perry deflected it in. Ah. Like, dude, what are you doing? Play for the wrong team. Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> We're speechless. You don't know what to say. Exactly. This is going to be a quick episode of uh, the Very, dog very house. quick. Unless, <laughs> uh, what, what do they have to do? The same thing as before. They just, they have to get mad, they have to get mean, and they have to get nasty and just score some ugly goals. They need to get mad and mean before, like, the last one minute of the game, too. Because mm. I heard that there was, like, some kind of a scuffle with Douglas Murray and Jeremy Roenick getting into it with some Ducks players at the end of the game. Yeah. A little too late. Yeah, way too late. It's like... I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I guess we'll see tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Game five. She'll be there. I'll be there. Look for me. My brother will be there. Look for DJ. Look for DJ. And, yeah. uh, I'll watch it. I still kind of believe. I want to believe. I'm like, uh, I'm like Mulder. I want to believe. <laughs> no, I want to believe too. And you know what? I've been like reading uh, other people's comments about the Sharks and how, you know, the Sharks always choke in the playoffs or the Sharks shouldn't even, like, bother trying to get into playoffs because, you know, they'll just get, you know, knocked out in the first or second round. And, it, you know, when a team hears stuff like that from their so-called fans, 
you know, it's like, um, they need a little more support, right? Yeah, I think so, but these guys are also professional, paid professional athletes. This is true. They shouldn't have any trouble getting up for a playoff game. This is also you know, true. No matter if it's the first round or if it's the finals. You know, you guys are you guys are pros. You know, people like us, we we pay to play. We pay to watch you play. And we pay to watch you play. So I mean what more incentive do you need as a hockey player? Yeah, you guys are living the dream. I have to go to work Monday through Friday, god damn it. You guys you guys get to play hockey and get paid, you know, way more than We do. Yeah. 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 So play better, Sharks. <laughs> yeah, just come out fast, come out hard. You know, the first puck drop, just do your thing. We're still looking for Joe Thornton. And Patrick Marlowe kind of disappeared yesterday, too, I heard. Yeah, he did. So, All right. here we go. That's it. Yeah. Next time. <laughs>